When you hear the statement, Russian bias, what comes to mind? For some of you, you'll think it's fake. For others, you'll think it's real, and some you think it's over-exaggerated. But in this video, we're going to be exploring what is the proof behind Russian bias? Does it still exist? And do I think it actually still exists? So enjoy the video. Russian bias states that because Gaijin is a Russian company and because War Thunder is made by Gaijin and it's a Russian game, that they might have given a slight advantage in the placement of BRs, perhaps even some stats of some Russian vehicles in comparison to others. Now, we'll be exploring the proof behind this later. It's been widely speculated for many, many years now, ever since War Thunder came out, that Russian bias was real. So, we'll explore. Is it? So first, we'll present evidence for Russian bias. Some people have done tests between Russian vehicles and, let's say, NATO vehicles of the exact same BR. I want to bring to mind a test someone did between the Leopard and uh, T-80 BVM in custom battles. And he found that the T-80 won, even though in real life it shouldn't. Now, maybe it's just the way he was doing the test. There are many, many skeptics for this, but still, even in my own gameplay, I've actually noticed <laughs> some, well, I mean, I'll call it Russian bias now, but maybe it's just skill, I don't know. But many other people have had the same consensus. People didn't just magically come up with this. They must have got it from somewhere, and the, the whole theory that there's Russian bias in the game must have come from someone actually encountering something, so maybe it's real, yeah. All T-34s start with APHE ammo, which allows them to destroy everything. Now, this is actually a very good point. I've seen T-34s just melt through armor. Secondly, Shermans, which would be a main competitor to the T-34, start with solid shot, which sucks against Russian sloped armor. So, that's another point. Now, Germans also have had their long-range sights taken away, which is unrealistic to say the least, but also would give an advantage to the Russians, which excel at close combat, which furthermore, most of the maps are actually designed for. Now, also Russian fuel tanks act as additional armor rather than as vulnerabilities, which is something, uh, and this is all disclosed from Black Fox Samurai on, on the Steam community page. Now, furthermore, <laughs> this guy claims that his Tiger II only has a 27% win rate and his T-54 has a 78% win rate. Uh, I'm not sure what this means. Maybe it means uh, Russia number one, but <laughs> uh, I'm not so sure. Finally, I also want to bring some aviation stuff in for the aviation players. Apparently, the Russian reserve aircraft starts with the best 7.7 millimeters in the game. Well, for, for that BR, obviously. Uh, and twice everyone else's. And they have, like, the best guns in the game from very, very early on, the 20 MMs. So, considering Russia actually didn't have a very, very powerful air force during the Second World War, it's surprising how OP they are in this game. Alright, so what's some proof against Russian bias? Now, first of all, it might just be the he's hacking thing, where people claim that the enemy has a special bias just because they died to them. Or maybe they died in an unlucky fashion, and then they're like, oh, I blame it on the bias, when actually it was just a ricochet. You know? That, that happens where the human mind thinks that something's happened because of, let's say, Russian bias, when it actually hasn't. And they're just leaking it to other stuff. Like, to be fair, I've actually come up with stuff like Swedish bias and all that. Which, um... <laughs> It's not very well well known, but you know that goddamn stupid tank with that auto cannon. Oh my god, it gets me every time. But enough about that. Let's see. Do I think Russian bias is real? Hell yeah. Well, okay, maybe to a very very small extent. Do I think Russian bias is real? I don't think their Gaijin is intentionally doing it like that, or if they are, it's to a very very small extent. But. I still think that they are trying to be patriotic in some way to uh, Mother Russia. Um, and furthermore, that is why I also main Russia. So um, I am very much enjoying the rewards of Russian bias. <laughs> I am uh, loving it. Yes, I love how my shots will just tear through any armor. God bless the IS-1 at BR 5.7. It's so good. Anyways, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video on Russian bias. Um, do you agree with my statement? If not, comment down below, or just comment down below anyways. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.